Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I want to do a little bit of a play with colours. Um, the sun's coming out, everyone's going to start going on on their holiday soon, so I thought it would just be a really good fun thing to do, quite an easy and quick makeup but using quite a lot of colours. Um, and again, you can adapt it to however you want to do it, maybe you just want to do the eyes or maybe you just want to do the lips, but I just thought it would be something a bit fun and um, why not embrace the sunshine, that's what I say. So let's get cracking! Okay, I'm going to start off with a bit of moisturiser. Um, now you have to excuse my skin because it's very bad at the moment. Um, I seem to have had a bit of a funny turn around this and this area of my face. What is that? Um, not very nice. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm putting on this treatment which is supposed to be very, very good. Um, it's kind of supposed to replace your treatments, your moisturizers, your primers, your SPF, because it's an SPF 30, um, and it's from Morad, um, which is this one here, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's called Invisible Blur Perfecting Shield. Now, I have never used this before, so this is the first time for everything, but it feels lovely. It's completely see-through, um, and it feels incredibly soft. It goes on a bit like velvet. Now because of the nice weather and things like that, I tend to go for more of a tinted moisturiser rather than a foundation, um, especially if I was going out or something like that and having a nice day out in the sun, um, then I'd definitely use a tinted moisturiser. My skin at the moment is quite dry, um, so I'm going to go for a Bobbi Brown. This one is in medium. This is the um, SPF Tinted Moisturising Balm, and this is super, super moisturising. Um, it hasn't got a crazy coverage, but it's got quite a nice little bit of coverage let's say that I'm gonna go all over my lips um, but I just want a really really light coverage anyway as I said my skin's going a bit funny so instead of me plastering it I tend to do the opposite and let it breathe for a little bit um, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on get rid of those bad boys that I've accumulated um, I'm gonna use the select cover up by Mac this one is in number 25. I'm going to mix two actually because I'm a funny colour at the moment because I've got a little bit of colour. I'm going to use, um, what colour was that? NW25 and I'm going to use NW35 as well, this one here. Um, I'm going to pop those on my hand like that. Very different colours. You've got one slightly lighter, one slightly darker. And then I'm just going to go in and use a little bit of a concealer brush. Well, a little bit of a foundation brush. Mix these two together a little bit going on the areas that want a little bit more coverage if you have got slightly problem skin then try not to kind of use something too heavy on your skin allow it to breathe on the days that you know you're not so important and you don't need a lot of coverage um i'm going to take the little light one nw25 i'm just going to pop a little bit of that with my finger under my eyes i find when people put concealer on they always make really funny faces like that Look like my eyes are about to pop out. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of Painterly. This is by MAC. Love this. And I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. Um, I'm just going to take this all over my eyelid. So now I've done the Painterly, I'm going to take a little bit of Bon Bon. This is my um, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette. And as you can see here, I'm going to take Bon Bon, which is this colour here. Just that one. A little bit more goldy ready tone. Really love that. Um, I'm just going to take that. Just pop that on my eyelid. Just there. This is not about um, really intense colours on the eyes. You'll see why. I've got a little sneaky surprise for you. So just take that. And this is my um, Smashbox blending brush. All over the eye. Don't take it all the way up to the lid. Really blend it out, really nice soft wash. So I've done it on the eyes, really pretty, and I'm going to take the Bomb Bomb now. Love that name, just underneath. So I've just kind of put a little bit underneath, a little bit on top, just really smudge it out, really natural. Now I'm going to take, this is from Bourgeois, this is Contour Clubbing Waterproof, um, and this is in Taupe. Taupe on top, number 60. Can you see this little grey, um, grey, it's more bronze. I'm just going to take that and in my waterline, go all the way across. Then what I'm going to do is just smudge it across my lash line as well. I'm just going to move my mirror here so I can actually show you what I'm doing. So literally go across the lash line. It's very, very subtle, this colour. Going So it doesn't matter if you're not amazing at doing lines or anything like that. As you know, I quite like a, I quite like a smudgy a smudgy lash line, and then take my smudging brush again wherever that is. This is the Bobbi Brown one, and just go across 
over there. Just really blend it out. Now, curl my eyelashes, of course. Go straight in. Hold. Right, I'm now going to put a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of black mascara. This one is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I love this mascara. I'm just going to put a really small amount. Because I don't want too much. A little bit on this one too. Just so it coats them a little bit. So you've got one coat of a, a black mascara underneath. Let that dry a little bit. While I do that, I'm going to do my eyebrows just for, so I let that dry. Kind of smudgy, quite cool. I'm going to take the Stiller. This is all uh, Stay All Day Waterproof, and this is in dark. I'm just going to go along my brows. This is really cool. It's like a little fat, um, like a little pen. Um, can you see the nibs? Super, super thin. Um, it's really lovely, and you can just brush in your hairs. Um, it doesn't come out crazy either, so you you know you can be quite daring with it. Um, and it's watery, so it does last all day. It of this. This is a new brow shaper, um, and this is in Rich Brown by Bobby Brown. I'm just going to comb through my brows. I'm probably actually mahogany rather than Rich Brown, but I can only find the Rich Brown one, so I'm just going to go with it. And this will just keep my brows in place. The, what I'm going to do next is, ta da! This way, ta da! Blue Colour Lash. Now this is Blue Colour Lash Mascara. This is from Collection. And I'm going to take this blue mascara and I'm going to pop it over the top of my black one. Now give it a really good coating. You might need to do this a few times. The reason why I did the black first is because I think it's sometimes quite nice just to get a little bit of a, um, a base coat with the black. Because sometimes, I love this mascara, but it is quite cheap um, and it won't necessarily... Um, stick like some of the more expensive ones but also I don't want it to be too electric blue I just want a real hint of blue um, so just really give your lashes a really good coat of that can you see there gives it a really nice you see the difference between the two slight hint I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath as well it's just a little play with color Little bit more of my can see. This is an angle blending brush, and this is from Look Good Feel Better. I don't know if any of you know about the Look Good Feel Better um, charity, but it's absolutely amazing. Um, it helps ladies that um, are going through cancer treatment or have gone through cancer treatments. And what it does is you go and um, you have a tutorial with people that, like myself, makeup artists, or people that work in shops or anything like that. They're all um, they all volunteer and um, they give you a makeup lesson. You walk away with a beautiful bag of makeup and it's such a lovely, lovely thing to do. And the women, you know, who are going through such a hard time actually walk away looking so beautiful and so happy. And it, it really is such, such a wonderful thing to be part of. Before I do any of my powder or anything like that, I'm gonna use a cream blusher. This one is a creme blush powder and this is from Sleek. And this is Peony Pink or Pink Peony. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of a brush. Now I've not used this before, so sometimes when I use a cream blusher, it sometimes be a bit crazy. So just pop a little bit on there. I love a blush. This is gorgeous because actually it kind of um, it goes to like a powderish texture on the skin, and you really don't need very much. Now it's really important to do your cream all first, so do your foundations, your concealers and your cream blushes and then pop a little bit of powder to set it all and then you can go in with your bronzers and things like that. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of powder. This one here is from Chanel. Uh, this is Matte Luminaire and it's number 80 contour. This is. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my forehead, around my nose, along my chin. Just to set everything a little bit. Now I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer just to warm up my skin tone. Um, I'm going to use the Matte Illusion powder. This is by Bordeaux. Right. Sorry, the light keeps on going in and out, in and out. So I'm trying to help. It's um, a very funny day today. It keeps raining um, and then being really sunny. So excuse me for that. Even though I have got lights, it doesn't seem to make any difference. A little bit on the temples here, temples here, down the nose a little bit. And then of course underneath here. Get rid of my double chin. Now 
This is a new Bare Minerals um, Seamless Shaping and Finish. Oh, I love this. This is brush. Oh, it's beautiful. Bare Minerals have just bought out a, a brand new range of um, brushes. It's amazing. They're so soft. I've always liked Bare Mineral brushes anyway, but they're just so beautiful and they're really, really soft and they make everything look flawless. So well worth a visit. Right, now... I'm going to go back to my eyes. I know I kind of keep darting about, but that's the kind of thing I do. Um, I am going to put some lashes on, um, and then what I'm going to do is coat them with a coating of blue mascara as well. Uh, the ones I'm going to use are Play Pro Blink lashes, and these ones are Promise. They're flirty ones. Um, really, really nice. You can get these online. Okay guys, so I've just popped the lashes on. They're very nice actually, quite nice and fluffy, which I love. Um, very, very soft. Um, it takes me ages to put them on, so that, hence the reason I haven't shown you. But I can show you more of a direct way of putting eyelashes on um, another time. So don't worry about that. It does take time, and it does take time to get used to it. So what I'm doing is popping another layer of the blue on top, and this will just combine all the lashes, your lashes and the false lashes, together. So I've done the eyes, which is great. A little bit of fluffiness, which I love. A little bit of blue fluffiness. Um, and now I'm going to use a little bit of lips. So guys, the colour does not end there. I'm going to use an MUA makeup, and this is in bright orange. This is an eyeliner. I think this is actually an eyeliner, but... I want to say eyeliner. But I'm actually going to use it as a lip liner. Uh, so I'm just going to go along. Give myself a really good coating. Go right over the lip line. So basically I'm colouring in my lips with the orange. But what I'm going to do is take, now this is my lipstick palette. I love this lipstick palette. Um, I made that myself, as you'd be pleased to know. And I'm going to go with Lady Danger. Now let me try and show you this one here. So Lady Danger is this one here, this orange one. Can you see that? Beautiful colour. Um, at least I hope it's Lady Danger. I'm never quite sure when you make your own palettes. You kind of, I have written them all down, um, which obviously was very, very good of me. But I have no idea where that um, list has gone. And also, I'm not 100% sure. I think it is Lady Danger, but uh, it's similar to Lady Danger, if not. Now this is a gorgeous colour. And I'm just going to go over the top. Moist together. Ooh, blocked. And then again, go right into lip. And make sure you don't get any on your on your teeth. You can obviously go like that, a bit gross, um, or use a cotton bud or a Q-tip. I'm going to go back into my Too Faced palette um, just very quickly. I'm going to take um, the Butter Pecan, which is this one here, very, very light one. And I'm just going to go over it again, get my little um, blending brush. I'm just going to go down my nose area very, very slightly. And then just on the top, my cupid's bow. I'm just going a little bit under my archway there. Just take a little bit just on here. Highlight these areas here, which is really nice. Just nothing too crazy. Just really softly, softly. I've done a nice little blush. Um, if you want to, you can go over a tiny bit more with your blusher. Um, just pat it on. The great thing is you can take your blusher with you, the cream one. I haven't actually re-added any to the brush, but I'm just going over my cheeks. Um, but what it's done is it's still kept everything very fresh, very um, lovely looking. Let me just take my hair out so you can see the whole look. So there you have it, guys. It's just a bit of a play on colour, really, for this summer. Um, I love a really bright lip. Um, I often wear it. Um, I especially love an orange, and I think orange and blue go so beautifully together. Um, and as I said, it's a really good way of wearing colour, but not being too over the top with it. Um, so give it a go. I hope you enjoy it. Please do tell me how you get on, and um, have a lot of fun, especially if you're going on holiday. See you soon. Bye!